All right, play and dodge the pothole. Because there's always potholes, obviously. Joy. Okay, so it's cold. I have so many layers on. And, and that cloud in front of me, it does suspiciously look like a snow cloud. We should be fine. I've only got 20 minutes to home, so it's not like it's going to be enough to build up. But I would rather it stay clear until I at least get home. I thought I'd stick the camera on. I don't really have a specific topic, but I felt like chatting, which is <laughs> unlike me sometimes. But here we are, heated grips on. Although, you know, despite the fact that it's cold and that is possibly a snow cloud, I still prefer this over the car now. But And I don't really have the choice of the car at the moment, but I do in extreme cases, you know, if it's absolutely chucking it down and I don't want to go on the bike and I, I can get, you, get the car, but I just find myself picking the bike more and more times. It's still flooded everywhere. This is the thing is that most of the routes I use, they're pretty high up, so around me might be flooded, but the road itself is fine. But it's like sometimes you end up having to think, right, where do I go that's not going to be covered in water? Fine with a few puddles, but when there's a drier route available, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it might be cold, but I am liking the, the blue skies. <laughs> At least there's that. Also, I've never had this much confidence in tyres before. It's great. I feel like they're well and truly scrubbed in now. And now it's just a case of, like, they're not the ones limiting me in the corners, I am. So it's a nice place to be. I feel like they can do everything I need to do. <laughs> That's my, my shadow. <laughs> I think my bike just kicked itself into neutral then. What was that about? On my ride earlier today, there was mud everywhere, so it's a bit like an obstacle course on the roads at the moment, with the amount of muck and everything else. Not the most fun, but you know, it is what it is. I cannot wait for summer. I mean, it's still only February. Oh, I actually feel the sun. That's so nice. <laughs> Warmth. Oi, you twat! Trying to overtake me on a blind corner! I see him in my mirror! I'm keeping an eye on you. The good thing is, even with a bike that's only 250, I can sort of escape that situation. The only thing is, if you're like overtaking on like a national speed limit road, you know, if someone's doing like 45, I can get past, but you've got to make sure that you've got plenty of time and there's no one coming ahead because it's not going to be a fast overtake. I think that's the only thing with the little bikes. Like, I'm having a lot of fun on this bike, but it is... It's one thing that I don't really do often is overtakes on, like, a true carriageway is fine, obviously, because there's, you know, there's multiple lanes and there's no one coming at you. Whereas the, the single lanes... That's where I think you can get into some trouble if you try and overtake and then you realise you've not got the power you need. Obviously it depends on the bike, but... People say like, oh, you, you get bored of a small bike. And I get why they think that and why they say that. And it, it does obviously depend on the person. I think, as I said in my uh, the review video I did of this bike, is that I'm, I'm a small person and so this bike is perfect for me to sort of get used to the weight of a bike and and the power is still enough for me especially the plan is <laughs> the, the plan's already changed since that video the plan is i have noxie for for my year and then for the second year of my a2 license i have something that has a bit more power 
um, that's sort of a step between this and like a you know a big A license bike that I can't ride right now because the A2 license is stupid. I'll get into that in a different video. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. But we work with what we have. So yeah, I understand why people say that small bikes, you can get quite bored of them. To be honest, I think it depends on what kind of riding you're doing. Right now, I'm using my bike as commuting and for a bit of fun, but a bit of fun between with mostly with uh, Katie, who also is on a small displacement bike. So it's not like one of us is extremely powered and one of the other one is sort of trying to keep up all the time. We're sort of evenly matched. And in that, we don't feel like we're restricted because we both have the same limitations. So it's not as bad. If I was doing group rides with a bunch of like 600cc bikes, yeah, okay, you're going to feel like you can't keep up and you can't have as much fun as they are. But I'm saying this as someone who's obviously never ridden, personally, never ridden a bigger bike. I've been on bigger bikes as Pillion, but obviously I've never ridden something that is out of my license. Um, as much as I hate the A2 license, I am looking forward to sort of like <laughs> the delayed gratification of getting a bigger bike. Right now, insurance for me to, to insure anything bigger is nuts which is why I'm waiting a year to get a year's no claims discount and a year of experience under my belt and I from what I've from quotes I've done so far it literally halves the cost per month it's crazy so I'm looking at a Ninja 650 restrict it for A2 and then unrestrict it for A and then depending on how I like it whether I stay on that for a bit longer or not I don't know but that's the plan we'll take things as it goes this is probably a really short video, but I said I wanted to talk and then didn't talk for a lot of it, so we'll see what comes of it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, me and Katie will be able to film some videos together very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. So, until then, safe riding if you're out, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.